Hello everybody, so in this video I will show again some interesting battery technology which I found some research papers several days ago. Uh, so here you see this cell uh, and the original one, I mean the original battery was some iron chloride zinc flow battery. And yeah, flow batteries like you know uh, need to have some external electrolyte tanks and also the pumps which make some electrolyte flow. So I saw this uh, iron chloride zinc flow battery and I was thinking yeah this this technology is quite interesting to me and definitely I will try to make one. But instead of making some flow battery type I was thinking to make some non-flow version. And yeah, here I have this iron chloride zinc non-flow battery, which also works really, really great. So the voltage, the open voltage of this cell is 1.5 volts. And under load, on a little bit heavier load, uh, the voltage drops to 1.3 volts. And yeah, actually, this uh, this cell have also. Uh, quite good output power uh, I get around 3 amps or even more uh, and also I get some really really stable discharge curve on this non-flow type so here I have connected some uh, multimeter and you see the voltage reading of 1.5 volts uh, now I will measure the current and I will go to 10 amps and let's see 3.6 amps so really 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 nice uh, really really nice output power and the active material uh, I mean the active surface area of this cell is 2.2 centimeters and that's it and I get more than 3 amps, 3.6 amps out from this cell. And this cell can also run this motor, which is 100 milliamps motor with no problem at all. And now how to make this kind of cell. So this, this iron chloride zinc battery is quite easy to make. For the positive current collector you need some graphite plate. And also you will need some graffiti carbon felt. So this graffiti carbon felt you will find on eBay. And this one is called palm based uh, graffiti carbon felt and this graffiti carbon felt you put on the top of your positive current collector for the separator I use this this is some sort of toilet paper just normal toilet paper will works really really great and the negative electrode is of course zinc and the electrolyte is this one. And this is the base element of this kind of battery. So the electrolyte is made from 2 grams of uh, iron chloride. This one. Also 2 grams of zinc chloride. And I also use 10 milliliters of water uh, so the iron chloride and the zinc chloride are the base elements in this electrolyte 
The supporting electrolyte, which I also use, is 3 mol of ammonium chloride and I put 1.5 grams of uh, 3 mol ammonium chloride into this mix. And in the end, I also use 2% of polyethylene glycol 8000. So the polyethylene glycol will reduce the growing of zinc dendrites. And that's it. This is the mix of the electrolyte. Uh, and to make this cell, you soak this graffiti caramel felt uh, with this electrolyte. And then you put this graffiti caramel felt on your on your graphite plate. Then you put some separator. You add a little bit of electrolyte, and in the end you put some zinc uh, electrode for the negative electrode. I charge this battery with 1.6 volts, and and actually for now I get really really good results on this type of battery. And yeah, the active surface area, like I said before, is two centimeters by two centimeters, and that's it. Also, this cell will discharge to 1.1 volt. After 1.1 volt, the curve, I mean the discharge curve, will fall really, really drastically. So, guys, that's it. This is my version of this iron chloride zinc non-flow battery. And we see us in the next video. Bye. Was it the voice? Was it the fire burning in me? All of the noise turned into choirs of harmony. Left me with the pieces of forever that you broke. But since you left me alone, I've been gone.